வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசீவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் ஷீ எஸ் இப்ராஹிம் <laughs> in the uh, children of israel is saul and then david became the uh, king and his his uh, seed holds the rise to the kingship so and solomon came then the lots of uh, pe- people came from that lineage ultimately it was more who ruled uh, europe for 800 years and those people who educated them this this is the history see when you talk about religion see we are a spiritual people and uh, quran is bas- quran bible torah gospel are all his spiritual book religious all religions are created by the caucasians like in india when gautam buddha came then they started and after his death and then there was a genocide of the black people uh, in kaling region and then the caucasians started religion buddhism similarly uh, jesus was persecuted by romans and then romans started roman catholic these uh, regarding the jew jew are the caucasians persian who, who from them we have two uh, profession persians uh, the the trading the trading community and the priestly cult so where and the and these people the traders the the jew lobby the trader trading community they took goods from india they dumped it in jerusalem because they have converted the Jer- temple of Jer- solomon into a warehouse so when jesus came he drove all those money lenders out of those uh, temple because it's a it's a house of administration not a warehouse or uh, or a business hub for those uh, caucasians uh, and because these jews they, they are white people they took goods from india they dumped it in jerusalem and from jerusalem they they distributed it to europe that's why they hold the the whole trade route is under their hand the jewish syndicate this is what is jewish syndicate and they are spread uh, in every country and they are controlling the trade route and and through the different priestly cult uh, Christ, all the religion was started by these uh, uh, traders trading community jewish lobby so priests and the traders this this they are the syndicates you getting the point so these are the two thing and regarding Mos- moses jesus muhammad they are all part of family of ibrahim and family of ibrahim are black people isa Isa is a uh, is a black man from a uh, uh, family of Imran Zakar as per Quran is is from lineage of Mar- Mar- Zakaria Mar- Mar- Mary and then he he from childhood he he, he again he is a messenger for children of Israel and he is a king actually see we cannot we cannot uh, he is a king so when he came but his people were not there the people because we all know that uh, uh, the unity among the children of Israel was due to ark of covenant so when the ark of covenant went missing so all uh, the, so the general idea for children of israel was that now the help of god is not going to come so they fled to their africa and uh, arabia and settled there so when jesus came his mission was incomplete and so uh, end end time uh, that is a uh, chapter 17 verse 104 of quran which the last sign before the day of judgment is the second coming of jesus christ so when jesus christ come he is going to bring he is going to complete his incomplete mission with children of israel and once again the land uh, land from uh, uh, the family of ibrahim property that is from iraq to jerusalem from jerusalem to makkah these are all land belonging to the semitic black people that is family of ibrahim so 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 jesus christ is going to return those people back to their land and the final fight is with uh, jesus christ versus the muslim world the the, the white jew the white caucasians the white uh, saudi uh, and the iran iraq these are all going to fight against the uh, jesus christ that's the, that's and the, and the warning of antichrist is uh, and the four beasts which the daniel is talking about is not in europe or america or somewhere or the other the, the four beasts is on the land from turkey to tamil nadu the four beasts regime previously regime is over over here so the muslim world are basically antichrist and as per the quran as per the quran uh, the caucasians will be divided the bloodline of cain will be divided into two two groups one 
who call themselves Christians, and among the Christians, they will be closest to the believers because among them, uh, in the, among them, there will be people who who are who are not arrogant, but they are they are they are, they are soft-hearted, and that's the reason why uh, Europe uh, uh, are preserving the Bible and uh, and trying to understand Quran, Bible, Torah, and they are keeping the Black history alive. Whereas the Muslim world, who are basically from the bloodline of Cain, settled here. As per the Quran, they are called Jewish lobby and the polytheists. So, and in every age, these are Jewish, the Caucasian uh, bloodline of Cain settled in uh, the Middle East and under the label of Jew, they were killing the black prophets, they were persecuting the black prophet and the book, corrupting the book and uh, and they were ruling those people. See, one thing is, I, in, in the short, I will just, uh, just remember that. When uh, outsiders or uh, uh, invaders invades a country, he is not going to maintain the tradition way of life of the native people. He will re rewrite the rules and regulations which are anti to the native people. So, so since the whole world is spiritually a spiritual country, it's only the European Adi since they are from the bloodline of Cain. So they were hunter gatherer cannibal society, and uh, um, and and so therefore, therefore the the, the holy books doesn't entertain them. But uh, and then later on, this uh, Caucasian Baniya Brahmins or the Jews, uh, Jews and the trading community, uh, priestly cult and the trading community, they started all these religions under the black people's name. And when you look into the history, Quran also says that because since all the technology, all the resources was with uh, people of the book, that is uh, India and uh, uh, children of Israel. Quran states that if you if you if you if you will not fulfill my my commandment or my work, I will replace with you with another people and they will be not like you. Today, Africa, India, uh, and all the other black uh, spiritual land they have they are now become a victim to religion, and God has replaced us, whether it be India, Africa. But now, if you look into the Chinese people, they are they are still maintaining their tradition way of life. They know about uh, spiritually and they are maintaining their tradition way of life and God has given them the status of superpower whether it be Chinese, whether it be Japan. We have left our spiritual part and that's the reason we are uh, stuck with religion. If you are from bloodline of Ibrahim, the history part you have to remember. You are getting the point. And, and other race, uh, spiritually, because everyone, because God says in Bible na, that we are all image of God. So, and how to, how to activate our image of God? Through meditation. When you do meditation, we activate our seven kundalini and we connect with higher conscience and thus becomes an image of God. So, this is what the Bible says. They are reminding about the, because the Bible came just recently. But the, the, from Adam, the spiritual part is there. So, uh, mother colony. So we know all this and since we are in the age of information, so I am coming and uh, trying to connect uh, everyone to Mother Colony, Quran and yes, other, 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 other books. Yeah. Uh, who are the children of Israel? Children of Israel, uh, you, you mean to do right now? Or uh, there are 12 brothers from uh, Jacob, they are part of the family of Abraham. From Jacob? Yeah, from Jacob. So to 12 brothers. And among the 12 brothers, the uh, right to administration is with uh, tribe Judah and Moors. This is what the, the simple thing is there. And, uh, the Why is Judah today? Judah, I feel, is in uh, right now because as per what my history says that uh, when uh, the Moors, the, the Moors are Judas. So when they ruled uh, the Europe for 800 years and then uh, around 1200 uh, AD, we saw the rise of the third beast that is Ottoman. Ottoman rose and then he had, he entered into Hejaz region, and uh, and once again the uh, Moors lost the, lost their kingship, and uh, at the same time uh, the Moors left Europe uh, by 1400 they lost uh, they had to leave Europe, and they settled around west coast of Africa, and then when uh, since because everything runs around uh, trading community, so the whole Europe was in the hands of the Jewish business syndicate the white people okay then the, so the the and, the and the traders used to blackmail the local people over there so then again the uh, the king of those, those uh, european country they funded uh, to find india through sea route that's the reason why columbus uh, left uh, europe to in search of india to find the black indians but he he went to america and he found the red indians 
and when reaching there he found the red indians and he he genocide those people he knew about uh, children of israel moors who were settled in west coast of africa so in from 1619 onwards slave trade started and those uh, 400 years uh, has already been so most of the black uh, people of america during who, who were taken to slavery because they are not uh, laborers they are technical people we can say that these black moors who built america who are living in as per bible as per the quran uh, 400 years of uh, slavery in an unknown land is over so those people have to return back to their uh, uh, ancestral property that is uh, greater israel which is currently been occupied by the caucasian settlers disguised as muslim world and uh, and that's the reason why so all this oil oil rich country those uh, resources belongs to the black children of israel people but who's who's uh, who's who's uh, yeah, because god that land belongs to the and the owner of that land is family of ibrahim but currently that land has been occupied by saudi and other people and those saudis are not uh, the native of that land real arabs are black so so basically the fi- final fight is uh, again for with uh, uh, jesus versus uh, saudi uh, and uh, the last final beast as per the daniel so so the fight is going to take place very soon so and- moses was born during the timeline of uh, pharaoh Pharaoh knew that Moses is going to be born and is going to take back uh, children of Israel from this land. But uh, similarly, these people who are into the research, the Jewish lobby, they know everything what is going to happen, and so they are they are uh, pushing, they are making policies and they are making lots of uh, division among the black people of America. So they 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 forget their own history, and they don't return home. Planning, but God has already made a plan that He has promised children of Israel. that uh, when jesus come he is going to return back to their land yeah I, i agree with you i'm just very interested um because i've never heard this coming from uh, an indian person yeah, i'm curious of see this thing uh, see, see this thing uh, you will not find it any books uh, this all things are not in the books because it's uh, like analyzing with the free mind you have to you, first of all you should remove the religious angle and you should see guidance from god yeah. read all the books and spirit get spiritually connected with god so that god guides you because there are many things in the bible many thing in the name of hadith many things written in historically things there's lots of book that if you go and search or search for the books you will be misled by all those words so until the guidance of god is not there the wisdom comes from god you can read thousands of yeah. book but the wisdom comes from god and without reading book also god can give uh, wisdom YouTube channel I can see uh, that see I my my, the same my channel is Asivagam United under Tamil Shiva I'll send you the backlink and my room is a, my clubhouse name in clubhouse I keep a session where I teach Quran people are basically caucasian settlers and they know the truth and they don't want to tell the tell, tell the uh, verses from the Quran so they try they only will talk about Jew Christian and Muslim but Quran is a reminder for family of Ibrahim and since they are not from family of ibrahim they are from bloodline of cain so so they will never tell you the truth so but anyway i'll tell you, i'll send you the link uh, uh, as soon as we get off yeah yeah make, make sure you send me that link i think they're from uh, cain i think they they're from abraham they're from ishmael no no, no no ishmael is a black man saudi genocide eight lakh like black people and illegally occupied uh, hijaz region you know that when lawrence of arabia uh, went to king uh, hussein King Hussein is a black man, and he said that uh, you help us to fight the uh, Ottoman, and after victory we will give you the kingship. So, and uh, this is what uh, then the uh, revolt of Arabs started, and uh, and then uh, Ottomans were defeated, and after the defeat of Ottoman, uh, uh, British and Saudi, the Saud family from Najd, they attacked uh, uh, what you say Hejaz region. and they genocide 8 lakh like black people and illegally occupied it so black people were genocide in uh, arabia so saudi are, are, are not the native of the land so true, if, true 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 so the quran is very clear it says that language and color if you want for people who if you want to do any research take the language aspect and the color aspect so what was the color of first human what was the language for first thing what why 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 came committed the first murder all this thing question comes so based on the language and color we have to go into history because uh, basically bible and quran is basically what a history book even prolonging due to four basically regime this guys as muslim world satyagam possible only through straight part of first in the tamil shiva nandri vanakkam